Good morning. Good morning to my peeps. <laughs> Look at this fucking band-aid, man. Oh my god. Almost 60, guys. It's all fucking downhill from here. I've been looking at people over 60 for years with their fucking half of their ears hanging off. And fucking Grim Reaper has arrived at my door. Anyways, I figure this is the bandage they put on yesterday. I have no idea what the fuck they did to me. So I figured, you know, with the, the absolutely outrageous content that I put up, you know, we might as well do the unveiling of my new nose <laughs> on YouTube for the whole fucking world to see. Let's see. Ah. Can't really tell anything, guys, but that's it. That's my new nose, yo. I hope I don't have a dimple, man, like a fat chick's ass, you know? If your girlfriend's butt has dimples deep enough that you could grab her like a bowling ball, you might want to consider moving on, man. That's all I'm saying, James. Uh, so that's my new nose, man. Let's see if we can get a close-up. This is some serious content, boys. Nobody does that. For all you young bucks out there talking smack, it's coming. It's coming. Experience tells me. I've been through there. I've been down this fucking road. I've been through the fire, boys. It's just waiting for you, man. Take care of yourself, man. Seriously. SPF 15 or more every day if you're working out in the sun, man. You got to protect yourself. This is a hostile environment uh, for plumbers. And, and we reap the, the benefits in our elder years. They start, you know, taking chunks of us off. This is just the beginning tip of the fucking iceberg happened to be right at the tip of my body my fucking beak Duh. hopefully look at this face face only a mother could love I got a permanent fucking scowl on my face it just uh I got such a scowl at my forehead, I'm turning into a fucking Neanderthal, you know what I mean? I'm like regressing. Most people progress, not me. I have what's called arrested development. I haven't developed much after the age of 12. I'm almost 60 now, and uh, it's not only I haven't developed, I have, I'm regressing. I'm actually going in the opposite direction. You know? Like, I enjoy farting, man. It's... I don't know. Maybe other guys do, but... Man, I, I really like to fart, man. Loud and long. Try to break my own record, you know? <sighs> I'm rambling. Anyways, guys. You're the first to see it. I can't even see it. At this point, I don't have glasses on, but uh, that's my new nose, man. I got a, had a nose job yesterday. So I gave a shout out to my girl Joanne yesterday, James Brown. He told me, he told me, uh, I heard she was a man. And... I responded to his little question with, she identifies as a house now, so, yeah, get your facts right, James. <laughs> Joanne was a beautiful woman, still is to this day. Anyways, uh, that's it, guys. Johnny's looking pretty fucking worn out, beat, yeah. Road hard and put away wet is the old saying, you know? And when you do that, you wake up a little rusty in the morning. 
That's what I am. Gussie, you want to say hello? Gussie and Bella ate a whole fucking bag of ginger snaps. They love them. Hello. So I want to tell you something. Yesterday was uh, September 22nd. Uh, I believe it was the day that my brother, my brother got killed in a car accident uh, in 1976. He was only 21 years old. And uh, when I rescheduled this, I called up to get this appointment at Moffitt and uh, on like Monday or Tuesday. And the lady, she it took a long time. She said, I'm going to have to put you on hold. And she put me on hold. And then she came back. She said, unfortunately, uh, they do not have an available appointment until after the first of the year. And I was like, holy shit, man. This is Florida. Skin cancer capital of the world, Jackson. This place I go to is basically for skin cancer and stuff like that. They don't treat uh, leukemia there. They have, Moffitt is a huge place. Uh, but anyways, a couple minutes later, she calls me back and she says, uh, I do have an available appointment on, uh, September 22nd, which all Im immediately rang a bell to me that that was the day that my brother got killed in a car accident. And, uh, you know, it's 47 years ago and I still remember uh, how I felt when I first heard that the uproar the how what happened in our house it was in the middle of two three o'clock in the morning we found out and it's a horrible horrible thing for a family to go through and uh, so that date sticks in my mind and then I was I was like, wow, so I, I got an appointment. Somebody pulled some strings, and I got an appointment quick. And and it just, for me, and dates and stuff like that, I'm, I'm kind of into numbers and, and how they, it, it just seems strange, you know, that all of a sudden I went from after the first of the year to the day my brother got killed. And thanks, Gus. If that was you, my friend, my brother, I love you still and miss you. Uh, thank you. But I was very cautious that day, yesterday, driving up the highway. I was, I was just, uh, uh, driving very slow, you know, just, I'm a, uh, what do you, I don't know what, I forgot what you call it. I'm kind of still sleeping, but, uh, I just wanted to make sure everything went good. And, uh. Hopefully, they won't call me and say, hey, we need you to come back because we need to do a bigger biopsy. This was the biopsy that they did was the smallest that they can do. Uh, they showed me the piece they took out of my nose, and it was very, very tiny. Uh, but I'm blessed, really, to uh, have these doctors. The guy's name, well, I can't. Yeah, there's probably a million of them. Dr. Glass, just a cool-ass guy. He's been doing this shit. He's, you know, I look at them like, like, whatever you do, you know, if you're a plumber and you know your stuff, you've seen it all before, that's how these guys are. You know, you can trust them. This guy, he was probably a little older than me, but, man, he's just comfortable in his skin. He understands what's going on. He knows what to do. And I really feel like I'm in good hands. If you, if you're diagnosed with cancer, or you have concerns, and you're close to Moffitt Cancer Center, uh, if you live in Florida, man, you they're worth the ride. Let me tell you, because it's not a, it's not the type of place where, you know, one of my doctors told me I I went to a place called Florida Cancer Specialist, and. Uh, I said, man, when I went there, I just, you know, one day the, the doctor, he was listening to my heart and he didn't even have the stethoscope fucking things in his ears. And he said, you know what? He said, you know what the difference is between him and me? He sees 40 patients a day and I see eight. And uh, 
I just feel blessed, man. That and that was the same doctor. That guy who took my was listening to my heart without the fucking things plugged into his ears. Uh, he was the same doctor that actually got me into Moffitt, man. So uh, it's just a strange world, numbers and how things happen and why. But I feel blessed today, guys. Hopefully, this thing on my nose will be nothing. Uh, they were gonna let me go, and then I, me being the smart guy that I am, I said, you know, I'm, I'm really concerned that it's not just a wound, that it was a, a burn, and I was concerned that it cauterized most of it, you know, and they all, they all kind of looked at each other and said, oh well, let's, let's do a fucking biopsy. Ah! <laughs> smart ass. I'm a fucking smart ass. Anyways, I'm a smart ass with a stitch in my nose. Guys, this is a, a big joy for me, really. I can't wait to get back to work, man. My phone didn't ring at all last week. And we go through, down here in Florida, I, I go through this uh, every year. You know, you start sweating, you're like, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, you're knee deep in shit, literally. Uh, so... It was a slow week. I didn't have much going on, and I apologize for that, but we'll get back at you. Uh, I put shit up like this just to keep in touch because uh, I enjoy the comments. I think we're all pretty funny, man. Wise asses. Pretty, pretty quick. Everybody's got a joke, and I enjoy the hell out of it, man. Shout out to all of my, my people, the guys who comment guys are great man have a great weekend it's saturday morning johnny stitch sunshine shing shing what you behind turning into donald trump here wait a minute what was i talking about? i was talking about obama anyways guys have a great day